what up it is team so you guys i am back with another video and first i'm going to start off with a short intro probably like 30 seconds so i changed my hairstyle i just have like my natural hair puff ball two ways across all natural you know i'm gonna be doing natural for a little bit now all right got some pearl earrings on pearl bracelets gold choker navy blue and gold holister shirt got blue jean pants on and I don't even know what type of pants these are. Probably like American Eagle or something like that. Hollis just some I don't know. Blue jean pants. Then I wear my navy blue hirachis. So if you haven't seen my navy blue hirachis, they're downstairs so I can show you guys. But if you want to see those, then just go look on my shoe collection video. So, yeah. So today I will be doing a story time video. Our first story time on our channel. If you want us to start doing more story time, then you just have to, you know, comment down below and let us know. If you want us to do any video, just comment down below. You guys, Jessica will be doing a video probably tomorrow. But also, you guys, I have a prank coming because me and Jessica rarely do pranks. So, we're about to start getting back into the pranks. So, yeah. So, everybody just be on the lookout. Um, hit that bell if you haven't already so you can get notified when we post a video. So, excuse me. So, now let's get into it. Let's get into the video. Okay. So, this third time is a straight time I got into a fight. So this was in sixth grade, the beginning of sixth grade. So this was like a little over a year because I'm in seventh grade and I've been in seventh grade since. I've been in seventh grade for like five, six months now. So we're basically like halfway through the school year. So this was like over a year ago. But um, this is just a story that I thought of that I'll tell you guys. Okay. So you guys, there's this girl. I'm not going to say any name. I'm going to make a fake name. So. These are all fake names, but if you know me on a personal level, like if you're one of my closest friends, like Jessica, Jayla, and Asia, somebody like that, do you know the story? But if, like, a lot of the subscribers don't really know me on a personal level, you just here to support. So, yeah, so it was this girl. Her name was, I'm going to just make up something, Judy. This girl named Judy. So I went to the same school with her, um second grade through the middle of fourth grade so she was messing with me every day then we always would get to arguments she was bullying me everything i was stressed out fourth grade everything like that second third and fourth grade so she just kept getting me suspended so i was just like i'm not about to keep getting suspended so my mom just took me to a different school so for the remainder of fourth grade i went to this one school and they named campus or something when he went there for a few months just for the rest of fourth grade year then I went to the school named Godwin. That's where I met like a lot of my friends. I will, I definitely um, lost a lot of friends at that school, but I mean, friends come and go. It's a part of life, friends come and go. But yeah, Godwin was probably like one of the schools where I met like the most friends and got my click tight right there like that. So that's where I met Jessica and Asia. That's where I met like people who support me. So yeah, so then, um, so um, then she, so, in fifth grade, I went to that school of God when everything was good. I didn't get in trouble at that school or nothing. Cause I'm not a bad per, I'm not a bad kid, but like, I don't really know how to explain it. But yeah, so then the middle of, so then sixth grade year comes. I go back to God because I did good that fifth grade year. That school was um cool or whatever. So I went there in sixth grade. Sixth grade, I'm on a bus driving up to school, pulling up there to my school. They parking about to let's get off. I see her and her three sisters. Now, let alone, yeah, I see her and her three sisters. So I'm just like, oh my God, this is this year's about to be messed up. Like, it's literally about to be messed up. I see her. So, I seen her or whatever. Then, um, yeah, I seen her or whatever, and not ready to do nothing. We was in the same homeroom class. And in sixth grade, we only had two classes. That was kind of weird. But now I'm in seventh grade. I got eight classes or whatever. But in sixth grade, I only had two. But she's in my homeroom. She sat right next to me. I'm right here. Judy right here. I'm just making up names. Her name really not Judy. So if you if you name Judy, I ain't talking about you, okay? <laughs> so, yeah, so she's sitting right there. So I was just like, they don't, like the school, of course they didn't know that we had a pass together because it was the first day of school. So, I'm just fast forward to about a week. Like, we already started arguing. Like, the teachers didn't really know about it, but, like, we already started arguing. She already sent me to the principal's office said I was talking about somebody or something. So, like, when I get angry, I, like, cry. So, I was, like, literally just, like, so when I was coming back to my locker at the end of the day, I was just, like, crying. I was just, like. Guys, 
yeah, I was literally like that. So, yeah, so then I was like, so I just walked up to her. Like, I was like, bro, you better stop messing with me. I said that. Know what I was thinking at the time, but I was just like, bro, you better stop messing with me. So then I just went home after that. I got on the bus. Ain't do next. So then this day, I was determined. I knew I was going to fight her that day. I knew I was. I knew I was. I was determined that day. Determined to. No, I don't, that's not really how I fight, but I was determined that day. Okay. So, you guys, if I'm moving over, there's like a pile of clothes over there. So, because I'm like doing laundry right now. So, yeah. So, so yeah, basically that's how it was. So, we was walking to this field trip. We had went to this like park to do group activities or something like that. And the teachers already knew about us arguing and stuff because it was like week and a half through school and they already knew about it. So, um, basically, we was walking to this field trip and stuff. So, she was walking right in front of me. I was walking right behind her. All my friends was like, yeah, Mari, you about to fight her. All my friends, you know how your friends be when you about to fight somebody. Yeah, get her, girl. You got to get her. You got to get her. All this stuff. So, I'm walking behind her. I keep stepping on the back of her shoe. Keep on. If you if you a teacher from God when you're watching this video, yes, I was stepping on her shoe. I lied and said she was stepping on mine, but I was stepping on her shoe. So, but, yeah, so I was stepping on her shoe. Doom, 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 doom. And she had sandals on too, so I was basically like scraping the back of her foot. <laughs> so, um, and I had some Air Maxes on. You guys know them Air Max bottoms don't play. So I was just scraping the back of her foot or whatever. Then, then she did, um, she told the teacher, and they was like, move to the front of the line. So I moved to the front of the line. I keep hearing her talk mad stuff about me. Like, I do not like when people talk stuff about me like i mean who do so i just kept hearing her talk mad stuff about me mad crap so i just walked right there and i said i'm tired of you i looked at that girl for like 10 seconds and i just she had this um coat on like i think it was like a raincoat or something i think it was like a little rainy that day i don't know but i think it was like a little raincoat she had on like a little north face or something like that so i had just yanked it like she had the hood on so i just yanked the hood and i just was dragging and you guys i'm not going to lie like if like i'm going to even say the parts where she hit me like i'm not going to just be making it seem like i literally demolish her like I did beat her up but I'm not gonna be acting like I just did everything like I ain't getting not one hit so I'm gonna tell y'all everything I don't not have a video but believe this story so all the kids just lined up I just walk up to her drag her throw her on the ground so I'm like pulling her and, I, and the coat is like going over her head okay so the coat is like going over her hair right so I'm just like pulling the coat all off her head and stuff, and I just throw on the ground, got on top of her, get the punch in the face, stuff like that. Like, she is swinging, like, she kind of, like, I had, like, a scratch right here. It's not right there no more. I got a little pimp right there, though, but it's not right there no more. I had, like, a little scratch right here, and that's it. Yeah, I had, like, a scratch right here, like, under my eye or something. So, then I'm just dragging her, like, <laughs> like, get on top of her, punch in her face. We kind of rolled a little bit because she was trying to throw me on the ground, but I wasn't about to let her get me on the ground. So then teachers, somehow, we was fighting for like 30 seconds before the teachers recognized that I went back there and started beating her up. Because, I mean, it was a long line, so we was kind of all the way in the back. So, all the kids seen it, but it was only, the whole sixth grade didn't see it because it was only like three classes. It wasn't, and it was like six classes of sixth graders, so, yeah. Some people had was going at different times, and some people was already at the park anyway. So, we was just, um, I was just throwing her on the ground, boom, boom, beating her up. So, then teacher break it up. And he just like, oh my God. So then they start calling the security and stuff. And then I literally looked on the ground. Her eye was kind of like a little swollen. Like I ain't like, her color, her eye was high like this a little bit. Like she looked herself at the same time I knew like something was wrong with her eye. Like everybody knew. Her whole hairstyle was on the ground. Like she had weaving. She had some braids in. A braid, it was braids braided up into a bun. So... That was her whole hairstyle was on the floor. Her hair was looking a mess. I swear on my mama, bro. Her hair was looking a mess. So basically, I beat her up. Like, yeah, and I wasn't even perping over the little scratch. Like, nobody even seen that scratch for her. I barely even seen it until, like, I started, like, washing my face with this acne, washing it and stuff. Started burning. So I was just, like, so my face. So then I seen a little scratch or whatever. So, wasn't nothing. Wasn't nothing. But, yeah. So, um... I fought her and stuff. I got suspended for three days. I went back to school. We still argued every day until I moved to Texas. We argued, like, all the time. Then when I kind of moved to Texas, she started, started to stop, like, arguing. Like, two months before I moved to Texas, she stopped arguing. We stopped arguing. Stuff was just, like, it wasn't cool. Like, we wasn't friends now. Don't get me wrong. But at the same time, we wasn't enemies. Like, 
We wasn't enemies. We wasn't friends. We just didn't talk. We never, we didn't talk to each other because, of course, we fought. So, yeah. That was that story time. So, I hope y'all thought that video was, it was just like a quick, quick little story time of when I fought. If you guys want me to do more story times, it doesn't have to be about if I fought. It can just be about anything. But give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and see ya.